is to recognize that we belong together and that the bond that unites us together is such a strong, essential bond that no part of the body can be cut away. You cannot cut away the Japanese church and say that it only reaches 0.002% of its population. It is so small, nobody is trying to learn significant models of ministry from it. We don't read books written by Japanese Christians. We don't listen to them because they don't have big churches. It is so small that it is not worth listening to. It's not worth being a part of. We can cut away the Japanese church and it is no longer part of the body. And God says, no, you cannot do that. Number one, the parts that seem to lack it are indispensable. But they are part of the body of Christ. We are one. We are united. In Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 4, Paul talks about the seven strands that unite us. We have one Father, one faith, one cross, one salvation in Jesus Christ. We have seven strands that tie us together like a strong cable that cannot be snapped or broken. We are one. And it's about a relationship of love and care and concern for one another. So the first value that unites us together is that we must relate together as members of the body of Christ. And this fact alone is immense. It's huge. It's big. Two 